Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, fans of Stratomatic baseball. I got my new Stratomatic shirt on. And today we're going to be doing Mismatch Monday as we do a lot of Mondays, not every single Monday, but um, I have done it, I think, uh, pretty consistently the last uh, three or the last two Mondays. So, yeah. We're doing Mismatch Monday today with the newly purchased by me 1978 rosters. And we are going to uh, do a... Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't want to do that. Let's see. I'm going to go... Yeah. New unscheduled. Um... We're going to use the DH rule. We're going to go 1978 American League. The visiting team is going to be the Baltimore Orioles, who won 90 games. And um, they are going to be... No, I'm going to manage them. I'm going to manage them, and the home team is going to be the 1978 Seattle Mariners who lost um, like 104 games. I think they were 58 and 104. And we'll make this be May, because it is May right now. It's like May 25th or something like that. And so, what else does it need? Because it's not letting me... Um, Oh, yeah. We'll make it a day game. It doesn't really matter, though, because it's in the Seattle Dome. So, um, I am going to change my starter. My starter is going to be Scott McGregor. Let's go with Scott McGregor. Um, so, uh, my lineup, as you can see on the uh, board here, is going to be Larry Harlow in center field, Rich Dower at second base, Ken Singleton in right field, Eddie Murray at first, Lee May at DH, Pat Kelly in left field, Doug DeCince will be the third baseman, Rick Dempsey is the catcher, and Mark Belanger, light-hitting Mark Belanger, will be the shortstop. For him, he's going to go with Julio Cruz, uh, leading off and playing second base. Uh, Craig Reynolds will be the shortstop, batting second. Tom Pachorek will be in left field, batting third. Uh, I think that's uh, Lee Stanton will be the DH. Leon Roberts will be in right field. Robertson will be the first baseman. Rupert Jones will be in center, who later went to the Yankees. Bill Stein, who later went to Texas, will be the third baseman. And Bob Stinson, the Bob Stinson, will be the catcher. And we will be facing Glenn Abbott on the mound. So let's get underway with that. So you can see we are in the Seattle Superdome. And, um, yeah, let me just put myself right here. And uh, we will swing away with Larry Harlow. And you can see we got Glenn Abbott down there in the corner. And that looks like a nice little, nice little fly out to Rupert Jones is what it looks like. So there's going to be one down. And uh, we are going to Rich Dower, the second baseman, will be up next. You can see the field conditions are a single one to nine for lefties, home run one to seven for both, and a single one to six for righties. And uh, there's no injury on the play, and Ken Singleton is a batter. Third batter up, two down. Abbott delivers, and it's going to be a base hit to right field. Singleton is aboard with Eddie Murray up. So I will I plan on possibly getting back to the card and dice um, next week with um, uh, mismatch Monday and that's only possible 
um, because I'm I'm not sure because I will be out of town this weekend for for uh, um, after Memorial Day um, weekend because I'm going up for a, uh, a celebration for my uh, nephew who graduated from college so. Um, We've got a man aboard, Craig, or the Mariners have a man aboard. It's Craig Reynolds with Tom Pachorek up. So we'll see. I'm going to try to possibly play that ahead of time, though, before I leave town for it. So we can get a card and dice in because I did take a poll on my, um, you know, concerning the videos that I put up, and I asked what type of video my subscribers would most like to see and the Mariners here have quietly gotten two guys on with Leon Roberts up but he strikes out for the third out. So uh, we come back up to the plate to face Ed with Lee May and most of the respondents, almost half, almost half of the respondents of the four choices said they would rather see card and dice baseball. So we will go back to card and dice baseball. Looks like Lee May has a chance to stretch this, but only at 35%, so I'm just going to stop him at a double. He is at second with Pat Kelly up, and I am, you know what I am inclined to say, I am going to bunt. And he has an 86% chance of a successful bunt. And it's going to be a two-base error by Glenn Abbott, which allows Kelly to go to second. And I still don't have any outs, and I got the run in with Doug DeCince up. So uh, Abbott is a uh, E27, so I, yeah, that kind of hurt. And then uh, it really hurt because Doug DeCince just went out of the park. So it is 3-0 Orioles here with Rick Dempsey up. Now, Rick Dempsey wasn't big with the bat either. And uh, he, but on this one, it looks like he might be at least shopping at the gap and maybe a home run. It's gone. I mean, he hit a home run. So we are just laying it on. Glenn Abbott is getting his butt handed to him right here in the second inning. Belanger is going to even work his way on board. Now, if Belanger works his way on board, you're having a bad day as a pitcher. Larry Harlow is up. He's 0 for 1 already. And it looks like he is going to fly out. And there is only one down, Rich Dower, up at the plate. Now, Rich Dower wasn't a big hitter either. This Oriole team was a, was a defense-first type of a team that had enough hitting to make it a good team. Again, they won 90 games in 1978 as um, the Mariners only won 58. And Ken Singleton is going to lace a base hit. I'm playing with house money, so I am going to um, go for the run. And uh, they gunned him out. They gunned him at the plate. And so Eddie Murray is the batter now. But I still do have a 4 nothing lead, and that looks like that's going to be a base hit. I'm going to send the lead runner again. I'm still playing with house money. And at that time it worked. So we're ahead 5 nothing, and Lee May is the batter. And they're going to bring in their reliever already. So a reliever is already coming in for Seattle, and that is going to be Tom House. Now you might remember Tom House famously caught uh, Air, um, uh, Hank Aaron's 714th, I believe, home run in the bullpen in Atlanta and that was a fly out so we only got five runs in the second just five and we have a five nothing lead as Scott McGregor goes back out to the mound to face Bob Robertson did not know exactly what his first name was when I went over the lineup um, a very forgetful guy in the history of baseball I think there's a fly out, and Rupert Jones is the batter. Roop Jones. I don't know why I don't have a picture of Rupert Jones. I probably have him as Rupert Jones in the thing, and they called him Roop in 78. So uh, Bill Stein. Bill Stein is up with two down here for the Mariners in the Mariners' second inning. And he gets aboard, and that brings up Bob Stinson. So we got a Bob Robertson and a Bob Stinson. I like the Bobs. 
obviously. And he is going to strike out. So we're going to the top of the third. Tom House is still out there. Um, he's going up against Pat Kelly. And Pat Kelly is going to strike out. Or no, he isn't. No, wait, he's still up. No, that was probably a foul ball that was an error. Now he's out, and DeCince is up. He has a home run today. He's one for one with a home run on the day, and uh, that's going to be a walk, and Dempsey is up. Dempsey also has a home run. They went back-to-back -back in the second inning, and here they are batting again in the third. And Dempsey might have gone deep again. No, he didn't. He's just going to fly out to Rupert Jones. So that is... Uh, two down, and Mark Belanger, who walked his last time up. Weak hitting shortstop, though. And that is a strikeout. So we're back out in the field here at the Seattle Superdome, and Julio, down by the schoolyard, Cruz, is up. Julio Cruz, a uh, slick fielding second baseman with a lot of speed, but he wasn't great with the bat either. Uh, Craig Reynolds is up. Craig Reynolds is one of my uh, favorite players from the history of baseball. I always like Craig Reynolds, and he's going to ground out to Eddie Murray for two down, and Tom Pachorek is up. And Tom Pachorek laces a base hit, right? Nope, nope. He's out. That was a line out to the second baseman. So Seattle goes back out to the field as we bat in the top of the fourth with a 5 nothing lead. Seattle with no runs and three hits and two errors. And us with five runs, seven hits, and no errors. And Harlow is out for the third time today. Rick, uh, Rich Dower comes up. He's one for two on the day. And uh, that looks like it's going to be a fly out to Jones. And there is two down, and Ken Singleton is the batter. He's two for two on the day, having a perfect day for himself. And he walks, doesn't uh, hurt his day at all. Eddie Murray is up. We got two down, man at first. And Eddie Murray is going to, looks like, ground out to Reynolds, and he does. So Seattle comes up in the bottom of the fourth. They've got some work to do. They're down by five here, and Lee Stanton is the batter. Looks like Lee Stanton's going to ground out to the slick fielding Belanger, though. And Leon Roberts is the batter. Leon Roberts is going to possibly hit this ball out of the park or a double, maybe a double. No, no. Harlow goes back on it and makes the play, and Bob Robertson is up with two down and nobody on. And he's going to hit a dribbler down the first baseline, and Murray will make the play. He flips it to McGregor, and we're out of the inning. And we are batting in the top of the fifth. Tom House is still out there. Tom House is giving it that old college effort and actually shutting us down pretty well. Um, since we were all, we got jumped on Abbott in the second. And Pat Kelly is up with one down and nobody on. And he is out. There's two down, and Doug DeCince is the batter. And Doug DeCince is going to hit the ball right down the line uh, for maybe a home run. Looks like that could be... No, no! Oh, Kelly makes the... Or, uh, not Kelly, but their left fielder, maybe Leon Roberts, I'm not sure, makes the play. So we're back out in the field, um, and McGregor will be dealing to Rupert Jones here in the bottom of the fifth. Got a 5 nothing lead for the O's. And uh, that's going to be a strikeout. And uh, Bill Stein is up. Bill Stein strikes out. And so there's two down, and Bob Stinson is the batter. And Bob Stinson is going to ground out. And I would add also, for you people that like to see the card and dice, we will have a card and dice Phillies game coming up on Friday. I plan on putting that up. 
as Rick Dempsey laces his second hit of the game. He has a home run, and now he has a single, and Mark Belanger's up with him aboard. As you recall, I am doing the the 2020 Phillies Imagine season, and um, I do do that with card and dice, and then input the results to the computer so that we can do the season, and I don't have to play every other game. And uh, I do plan on that being a card and dice offering that will go up on Friday, the 31st of May. So if you are a card and dice fan, you can look out for that. And then potentially there will be a mismatch Monday card and dice on Monday. So that could potentially be, I say potentially, could be two card and dice games in a row for the people that have answered that poll and said, we want to see more card and dice games. So, and card and dice baseball specifically, because I did have card and dice hockey as an option. I had card and dice football as an option. But the number one option, like I said, that got almost 50% of the vote was seeing card and dice baseball. Pachorik up with two down already. And Pachorik was a good hitter. I like Pachorik, especially since uh, he was on my White Sox later on in his career. But looks like he was out there, and so we are up in the top of the seventh, still with a 5 nothing lead. And McGregor cruising for us, and Rich Dower hits one right up the middle and gets a base hit. And Ken Singleton, 2-for-2 two two with a walk. He has an unblemished record today. Let's see if he can keep it that way, and it looks like maybe he did. Maybe he did with a home run. And no, it's a double. So he hits it off the wall, and Dower has to stop at third. We have runners at second and third with zero out. Finally getting to Tom House here with Eddie Murray up, who is one for three on the day. And House, they let House stay in, and he laces one between short and third. And again, I am playing with house money, so I am going to go for it. And uh, we make it, and it's now 7 nothing with Murray at first base and Lee May is the batter. Let's see if they make a change. They don't. They let house deal to Lee May. And Lee May may, may have gone deep. No, Pachorik. So Pachorik is their left fielder, and he's made two great plays at the wall to rob two Oriole batters here today, uh, but to no avail for his team because they are ahead. We are ahead seven nothing. And Enrique Romo, who you might remember, went and uh, the probably the very next year, if, as a matter of fact, I think it was played for the World Champion Pirates and was also a part-time starter for them. But right here he gives up a, uh, a deep fly ball that Rupert Jones is able to catch. There's two down with Doug DeSensei up and Murray is aboard. And uh, that's going to be a walk. So we've got two guys on with Rich uh, Rick Dempsey up. Rick Dempsey two for three today with a home run. And uh, that is going to be an out, it looks like. So, uh, we, but we did get seven, and we're going to the bottom of the seventh with Lee Stanton batting against McGregor. And I will probably take McGregor out after seven. I don't really have to. There's nothing. He's not getting tired. Um in fact, he's only he's uh, got a 99 limit here, according to what it says right under his the pitcher's mound. He's got a 99 limit, and he's only thrown 50 pitches apparently. Uh, but Kelly dove for that ball, and he couldn't come up with it. So Roberts is aboard with Bob Robertson. A lot of Roberts and Bobs going all through this uh, Seattle lineup. And uh, he is going to be out. It's a line out to Rich Dower. And Rupert Jones is up with two down. And uh, Roberts is aboard. Leon Roberts is aboard. And that is going to be... That could be over Harlow's head. But let's see. Yes, it is. It's over Harlow's head for a double. So the Mariners have something going here. Bill Stein is up. 
With two down, it's up to Stein to try to knock these two guys in. They need at least this because they're down by seven. And he unfortunately looks like he's going to pop out to Dower. So Enrique Romo comes back out to the mound and uh, he will face Mark Belanger here in the top of the eighth. And uh, that's going to be one down and Harlow is now the batter. And you can hear my phone is going wacko in the background. I don't know if you can hear that, but I certainly can. And we've got Rich Dower up with two down. And I hate how it's it's probably the same message, but it just keeps repeating. Hey, hey, you got a message? Hey, hey, you got a message? I hate when it does that. Um, and that's going to be a base hit for Dower. He gets it. They Reynolds can't make the play. Of course, he is a 4E33 at shortstop. And so Singleton is up. He's 3 for 3 with a walk today. And he has a double. And he walks again. So he is he's had a perfect day. And Eddie Murray is up with two runners on and two down. And is Reynolds going to make that play? He does. So we are going to go to the bullpen. I don't need McGregor to pitch any longer than this. So we're going to go get Stanhouse. Don Stanhouse. He will come in and he's going to deal to Bob Stinson. I don't see Stanhouse giving up seven runs, although he did walk Bob Stinson, which is a little concerning. I mean, if you walk anybody in this line. And then Cruz hits one up the middle. So I might have spoken too soon, and I might have made a very bad decision in going to get him from the bullpen. And it's a looked like a... No! No, Murray was there to make the play. Thank God. So there is one out with two runners on and Pachorik up. Now, Pachorik was a good hitter, and he does walk. So the bases are loaded for the Mariners here. With Lee Stanton, he has a chance to really bring this game really close. He's going to get a base hit. Stanton is just falling apart here. I'm going to throw for the lead runner just because I want to. And I got him. I got the lead runner. So they only get one run on that instead of two. And there's two down now. And Leon Roberts is up. And Leon Roberts is going to ground out. But the Mariners do bring themselves one run closer. It's 7-1. to Enrique Romo is still out there. Lee May is the batter here in the top of the ninth of this ball game. And that's going to be a ground out to Stein. And Pat Kelly is up with one down. And that's a wild well, wait, what was that? Let's see. Uh, well, he was out. So there's two down, and DeSensei is up. He has a home run on the day, and he laces this between second and first for a base hit. Dempsey, who also has a home run today, and he's two for four on the day, is at the plate, and he's going to lace it between short and third. Um, I am going to send the runner, you know, again, we're playing with house money, and again, the house money just came back to bite us in the butt, and uh, he was out trying to go to third. So, we are pitching to Bob Robertson. I still don't think that the Mariners have it in them to get six runs off of uh, Stanhouse, as bad as Stanhouse has been pitching. Although, this one could be out of the park or a double. It's a triple. A triple for Bob Robertson, and uh, we've got um, Rupert Jones up. So this has been a terrible outing by Don Stanhouse. It's a good thing we had runs to burn. And he is out, but he got the run home. It's 7-2. to two. The Mariners are down by 5 with one out here in the ninth, and Bill Stein up. And he is out as well. And that brings up Bob Stinson. Leaves it up to Bob Stinson, who walked the last time that he faced Stan House. And right here, he lines out to Eddie Murray to end the game. So we're going to go get the box score for this. Uh, we win the game 7-2. to A uh, little, you know, 
it was a little uh, a little more you know closer than I probably would have liked it to be when you've got a 90 win team going up against a 58 win expansion team but um, nevertheless we win the game seven to two. You can take a look at the box score. McGregor went seven. He allowed no runs, and then Stanhouse came in and tried to burn the house down with his Stanhouse. But he went two innings, gave up three hits and two runs. But he still uh, did not give up enough runs to lose to the Mariners. And so that's how we stand. That is mismatch Monday for this Monday, and. Uh, is this Monday Memorial Day, and the Orioles of 1978 beat the 1978 expansion Mariners 7-2. to And that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.